Turns out, Ryder is a fan of raw onions. You want some more onions, dude? Here you go. Here, come here. Let me let everyone see you eat it. Wow, buddy. Who doesn't like raw onions in the morning, huh? <laughs> He's going I don't... to a birthday party later. He is going to a birthday party later. That might not be. You might be unpopular, buddy, but you'll be unpopular with daddy because I'm having raw onions on my eggs, too. Ryan. So we can be unpopular together. <laughs> Ryan's hair is in shambles. Behold the poor man's haircut. <laughs> hey, Come on. even if we had money, you would still see me. I'd still see you, baby. I like cutting yeah. hair. Yeah. I only have two <laughs> styles though, short and shorter. <laughs> that guy yeah, over. you came real close to. What is it? It's a porcupine. It's a porcupine. Look how big it is. It's a big old porcupine. I gotta zoom in on that thing. Yeah, no, it's a raccoon. That's a porcupine, baby. That's a raccoon. Babe, you think a raccoon is that waddly? That's a raccoon, no. Babe, zoom in. Oh, I am zoomed a, in. That's, that's a porcupine. Everyone wow. in the comments. Is that oh, he's coming back. He's, he's reared now. up. Oh my gosh. We literally almost ran him over. I don't know how you didn't run him over, Ryan. Buddy, do you see the porcupine? See that porcupine here? Yes. He is. He looks like doesn't he look like a Christmas character? Oh my gosh. Should we warn our neighbors? <laughs> He's gonna come down your chimney. <laughs> oh my goodness. Where's he going, do you think? They move so slowly. Yeah, do you think he's gonna look like? So it's not fur if you were to pet him? No, don't kiss the porcupine, no, bud. The porcupine. I know that their nostrils have uh, spikes. You would, their nostrils? Well, their face. <clears throat> So, mommy leaves us alone for two minutes and he spills kombucha on the carpet. And he's just informed me that he's put shampoo in his hair. Because you want to be clean, right, buddy? <laughs> but no more. Look at how well he listens. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. <laughs> oh, and he also ripped up this onion and spread it around the carpet, so. What are you going to use? What's what's that one? Oh, that's the gratitude blend. You want to smell that? That's perfect. <laughs> oh my gosh! What a fitting, what a fitting blend to pick out, bud. Buddy, you just picked the perfect blend. All right, bud. Wow. There you go. I anoint thee. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Stay still, Chan. All right, rub it in, bud. Oh wow, buddy. 
it's amazing that Ryder chose gratitude as the first oil that he picked tonight because that's what I feel right now. I'm so grateful to be where we're at. At the beginning of this journey, I really wanted there to be a day where our oncologist would look at us and say, he's cured. Cancer, mm. the cancer is gone. The balloons would come down. Yeah, and, and yeah. we would have a party. And I realize now we're probably not going to get that day. Ryder's primary tumor is completely unchanged. And I think Ryan and I can honestly say at this point, we feel that it's scar tissue, just the way that it's been behaving for the past two and a half years. And it's been two and a half years since his last round of chemo, which we stopped halfway through the protocol um, at minimum. Um, so we are going to scale back. We're going to scale back some cancer targeted supplements, things that aren't necessarily good to be on prolonged usage. Uh, we scaled back the Rife machine because Although it's um, it's great in that it uses frequencies to target um, microbes. Microbes. It's also <laughs> something that's using frequencies, a EMFs. It's, it's EMFs, yeah. Specifically, and radio frequencies to be even more specific. Which I mean, they they are the type of EMF that you want to avoid in general. Right. Um, you know, your your Wi-Fi router, your cell phone towers, that sort of thing. Uh, these are obviously targeted frequencies that are, you know, only, only, you only get that one frequency for that one period of time and then it moves on to the next frequency. So it's not like he's getting bathed in the stuff. Mm -hmm. And so that's why, you know, I've been okay using it this whole time. But at the end of the day, um, it's not, it's, something it's not a long-term health long. measure. Right. And, and if you don't know about the Rife machine, please watch the Royal Rife story. It's fascinating. absolutely fascinating. So we're, we're definitely moving towards just overall supercharged health. We're obviously going to stay very vigilant mm -hmm. and that's not to say we're, we're not going to, yeah. you know, we're just eschewing all anti-cancer supplements whatsoever, or tr treatments, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, essential oils, those are obviously going to be sticking around for forever. Forever. For our um, whole family. Yeah, for the whole family. Because I mean, these are easy things to do. Why, why wouldn't we continue on an anti-cancer lifestyle? Yeah. Things like the sauna, that's so easy for him to do, and that's so much a part of his lifestyle. Juicing, um, our prep day on Sunday, absolutely isn't going anywhere because that's something that I feel very passionately our kids should grow up with, so that they are, so that they're such a big part of this healthy lifestyle that they want to take it with them when they grow up. I mean, that's our dream. Oh yeah, yeah. No, that's. Um, I mean. You know, that's, that's all Ryder knows at this point. It, it's, this is a lifestyle. This is really a journey to make sure that the cancer goes away and never comes back. We're just so excited about what the future holds and we just can't wait to share it with you. So if you're not already, please subscribe to our channel and, um, and give us a thumbs up. We'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> 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 the end. <laughs> <laughs>